Hi, you guys. Sorry about the delay. Hey, Shrek. Good afternoon. Good evening. Yeah. What'd you say? Say good afternoon. Good evening. He's doing his line. I didn't do my line. Sorry. I'm, uh, I'm like a damsel in distress right now. So my daughter, uh, phone got stolen last night when she was at a party. And um, so I gave her the phone that I usually use for my second camera. She, I've got insurance on it. I got to file a claim for it tomorrow. And um, so anyway, so I was just trying to hook up an Android, that, an old Android that I had. And I, for some reason, the camera's blocked on it. So I'm going to use my actual, my real phone. So no one texted me or call me because I'm going to use my real phone. Right, Triker? That's right. So give me a moment to just log in here. I'll keep reminding them. They usually don't. Nobody usually calls me anyways, unless I say, I can't find my phone. Can someone call me? <laughs> Which I usually say that quite a bit. <laughs> I usually say that. And I want to thank you uh, for those of you that... Um, but I've been working at this. I said to T, right after the live, I called T. And she said to me, she goes, why didn't you just stay there and auction off while you were sitting in the living room? And I'm like, I don't know. I just needed to take a minute. And then I, I went to lay down for a second. And I'm like, I better make sure I can get that other phone hooked up. And uh, sure enough, I couldn't do it. So I've been at it. Okay, I'm almost there. There you go, Kyle. That was my green screen effects. What did he say? Well, he still thinks it's a green screen. Did you take a book off the shelf? I did. Let me see. <laughs> there you go, Carl. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, it looks like a green screen. It's just crazy. That's right, Marilyn. That showed it. Hi, Junebug. Okay, I'm signed in. I'm going to grab the link. Just give me one more second, and I'll say hello to everybody. Oh. All right. There it is. Hey, you guys. 59 of you already here. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Okay. Sorry, folks. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn the volume down. All right. Let me reverse the camera. All right. Let me put it on the tripod. All these technical difficulties. I said to Shriker, I'll just have to show the old-fashioned way, the way I started doing it three years ago. And then I'm like, I don't want to do it that way. I want to figure this out. I get so wrapped up into, like, trying to figure things out. All right. That's done. Now the only other thing is I need to plug it in because it's not going to last. It's whispering, but just a little bit. Can you hear it? Yeah, it's there. So am I. Let's see if I can stifle it. Let's see if I can stifle it. Put this in here. That in there. Whoopsie. Don't want to break my phone. Well, she didn't break hers. Hers got stolen. No way of tracking it down? No, they turned it off. Yeah. She gave it to Ben to hold, who's like, you know, one of my sons also. And he put it in his back pocket, and he thinks someone swiped it out of his back pocket. 
So, oh well, what can you do? She told me she'll work it off. These kids. Start tomorrow. Yeah. Kids, you guys. Kids, kids, kids. All right. Let me add this. And do this. I think I did it. I think success. Looks Good okay. Lord. As long as nobody calls or texts. Right. Well, if they do, then I'll just have to redo everything that I just did, which is a pain in the neck, but I got it. I can do it. It just takes me an extra minute. Well, you have it on silent, so it'll just vibrate, right? If somebody calls. Yeah, I think, I don't think it will, it, it's not like I'm live on that phone. So I think that it will just, um, yeah, it's on silent. I don't know what it's going to do. Somebody call me and let's see what it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking. Everybody not I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't call me. Don't call me. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, uh, Carl Bach. Hello. Hello. Shop Holly. Thank you for being here. Dora, Marilyn. You guys, I see all of you from uh, the earlier show. Thank you so much. Terry. Yay. I'm actually be in on a very beginning of one of Donna's sales. Can hardly wait. Well, welcome in Terry. Does Terry have a wrench? Yes. She does? Yeah. All right. Terry, welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. I didn't even recognize your name. Isn't that terrible? I'm sorry. But welcome back. Welcome in. Welcome. Hello, Sandra. Sandra. Sandra and Sandy. Both of them are here. I was like looking at one and reading the other. Hey, Murray. T. Thank you for um, noisy here, but all good. Oh, all the fireworks. I know, I know, I know, right? Here too. <clears throat> Marilyn, hi, honey. Heather MC, Mr. Zuckerman is in the house. Helen Greens, Heidi. Does your wife get jealous for spending so much time with Donna and T? Probably. <laughs> I ask him that all the time. <laughs> hello, Amy. Hello, hello. You guys are awesome for coming in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, Marilyn. Harley Handler, hello. Sell me all your cosmetics and Pokemon. P.S. Hope you've had a great fourth Sunday. Carl, I worked all day. Did you go to the beach? I worked all day. Make sure you mark your calendar, Carl, because I really want to meet you when I come over on, it will be Friday the 13th. I got to pick the hotel unless you have a recommended hotel that you can recommend in the St. Petersburg area. Um, Rachel, hello, sweetheart. Good to see you, Rachel. Very good to see you. Jim, hi, honey. Thanks for being here. I hope you guys all had a really great Mr. Kyle Elliott. We've had a half hour. We've had an hour and a half of fireworks over here so far. Good thing my boss isn't observing the 4th of July, so I get to try and sleep through this. Hmm. It's a lot of fireworks going on here too. Little K. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Joanne Young. Hello. Gypsy Mama. Mr. Brad Voigt. Oh, the, those eyeballs. Hmm. So I heard that there's a little kind of code thing going around with those eyeballs is, uh, is there any truth to that, you guys? Um, you it's like that? a code for something, the eyeballs and different emojis. Hmm, Brad, what are the eyeballs about? He does Saxton, huh? I see him do it everywhere. He does it everywhere? Yeah. Does he? Okay, maybe it's just his trademark, like Saxton's trademark is Good tomatoes day. and Kyle's trademark is goals 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 and my trademark is the little dancing girl <laughs> Heidi's collections sorry if I missed anybody you guys my chat jumped and I was busy trying to get this darn phone hooked up I'm impressed what's he impressed with everything that you do oh no <laughs> James, don't be a troublemaker, James. Don't start. James, am I going to see you when I come over to the West Coast? K, 
Carol Ann. Hello, Jenny. Look at Jenny's doing it now, too. I mean, I know about the eggplant emoji, but I have not heard about the eyeballs. <laughs> Someone needs to enlighten us about the eyeballs. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> welcome in. Honestly. Emptied five boxes of inventory and got them listed and in bins. Wow, Carl, that's awesome. I emptied a lot of bins too. I should take a picture of how many bins I emptied today. Tried to consolidate. <clears throat> Donna, will you do the Miracle Happen products that you showed in the unboxing? Sure, I'll drag that box over here and I'll do all of them as one-offs, you guys. I'll do them all as one-offs. So everybody has a chance to uh, to buy them. I don't know anything about them. So, hey, Stitch It, I saw you. I just went by you real quick, and I saw your name. There you are. Hello, sweetheart. Are you still at the cabin? All right, you guys. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, there's fireworks going off all around me. And since where I am... You know, this little community of homes, which are mostly uh, modular homes, um, they sent out um, they sent out an announcement this morning. You know, fireworks and open fires are prohibited here. You can have a like a chim chiminini. Is that what they're called? Chiminea. Chiminea. Yeah, you can have one of those, um, but you can't have like an open you no know fire pit. yeah like a fire pit they're not allowed here because um because of the ages of the homes i mean let's face it and this home is 1982 made of wood my real home is i always say we live in the house that the third little pig built because it's all cinder block the only uh it's, I think it's it's cinder block on the first floor, and I think the second floor is wood frame and the, the trusses and the the um that's how they, they build. Some homes are built now all cinder block. Mm -hmm. Um some of the newer homes, but um my home is uh nineteen I think it's nineteen eighty eight or eighty nine. And I think this, the whole second floor is wood. Well, they've had a lot of years to figure it out. So I know you probably build a lot differently there than you do here. So, Oh, yeah, especially with all of the, the current hurricanes. And speaking yeah. about building, I got caught up. I sometimes do this. I end up watching something. It could be it could be anything. It could be children with disabilities it could be cooking it could be last night it was the um tragedy in miami on youtube and i went from uh youtube video to, to youtube video watching like all of the different reports and all of the different uh let's say conspiracy theories and all of the different there's uh, there was some architects that came on and gave their um, opinion as to what happened. And this one man that I watched, I don't know if you guys have, hi, Tim and Laura. Um, sorry, cement block. They don't make cinder blocks anymore. Thanks, Heather. <laughs> My home was built in 1955 and it's all cement block. Been through a bunch of hurricanes. Yeah. I, I said cinder block, but yeah, cement block. Thank you. I watch all the true crime dramas. Deborah, so do I. I don't know why I watch them. And I also watch this uh, this one guy, and I've mentioned it before. It's called Oddities, Absolute Oddities. Hi, Kimmy. Hello, hello. Welcome in, sweetheart. Um, and it, it's, it's called Absolute Oddities. And it's this, I think he's from New Zealand. He's got this wonderful British accent and he tells these stories about, you know, families. I've talked about that before. But anyways, last night I was watching and they think that this whole thing, do you know that they got a report three years ago by an engineering firm that came in? They, I guess they have to do like a 30 year um inspection or something and it didn't pass 
three years ago, it didn't pass the 30 year uh, inspection and they have been sitting on their butt for three years. Um, my husband was a bricklayer and cement man and he has been correcting me for seven years. <laughs> House hunters, where ordinary people can afford million-dollar homes. Yeah, I love that show, too. I did see they're going to go ahead and demolish the rest of the building pretty soon. I think they were talking about doing it tonight. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they were talking about doing it tonight. I really wanted to watch it. You guys, if somebody look on one of the channels, and if they do it, I'll, I'll, I'll share uh, my screen and we'll watch it live. Yeah, they're supposed to be taking down that other building tonight. I guess for some reason they're doing it at nighttime. I don't know why they're doing it. Hi, Karen. I don't know why they're doing it at nighttime, but um, it all started from a, well, what they're saying is from a leaky uh, water system for the pool filtration system. Uh, that compromised the concrete under one of the buildings. Hey, Shell, good morning, honey. Good morning, good morning. Oh, you know what? I might make myself some iced coffee, actually, speaking of good morning. Um, and it corroded the cement, which corroded the rebar, which loosened the the actual columns and the structure of the build, like, the story that I was watching was like, oh my God, like, yeah. And they had a pool guy in just last week and he surrendered the pictures to the police department and because they were needing to replace the filtration system or service it or upgrade it or whatever needed to be done. And there was so much water in this area where the the system was and he surrendered he took pictures and he surrendered the pictures to the police department and this guy somehow got these pictures and he he had them cnn reported they will take it down between 10 and 3 tonight oh you guys keep an eye on it and we'll share screen and we'll watch it watch it come down they told all the people to evacuate and want to know who would still be there yeah, so so the the pool the pool company said we're not touching the system. Like you have so much corrosion here, and they took pictures. They took pictures of the filtration system, but you could see the corrosion on the building. That was just last week. Oh my God! All those poor people. They profiled this one girl from New York. Beautiful girl. She uh, did TikTok videos, and she was a jewelry designer. Young, beautiful girl, and um, they they had they found her, and she was banging, 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 trying to let them know she was alive. Um, and she was banging so that they could hear her. And then when they finally reached her. She was dead. She didn't, she probably no enough air or too many injuries. I have no idea. They have evacuated several more buildings all around Florida now because someone finally got on those reports. So many people are displaced in Miami, Kiss, Kissimmee and others really. Hey Frank, happy 4th of July, honey. Amy's at it, good to see you, welcome in. Oh my God. So yeah, so I, I ended up last night, I got so wrapped up watching all those, all those reports and all of those shows. Gosh, I was, I watched them for like almost two hours, all the different, and they all I saw, made, I saw one report said they were going to tarp over all of the debris that's there now. So when the new building comes down, it won't compromise the scene of the older, uh, of the building that already came down. That way, you know, they you know, more evidence that's there. I, I watched <coughs> this rescue and recovery man. He had like a, like a Home Depot bucket, like a five gallon bucket and he had gloves on and he was like scooping the debris into the five gallon bucket, looking for remains of people. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself, how does a job like that not affect you for like the rest of your life and not give you like 
post-traumatic stress. Like well, they had to do that at 9-11 too. You know, I know. Think about how big those towers were. I know. How many five gallon buckets that was. I know. You know. It's unreal that something like this could could actually happen in today's day and age of inspecting buildings. I'll be honest with you. I was one of those conspiracy people. I thought, I thought Miami, Cuba, mafia, the way it came down, like it came down, like it came down, like, 9 yeah, 11 and you know the conspiracy theory at 9 11 that it there was explosives all over the bottom that's why it just came straight down those buildings came straight down just like the two towers did mm -hmm. that's how buildings fall like you would think a building would like fall you you wouldn't think yeah. that it would just if like support column gave out you think it just tip over but that's not what happened no not at 9-11 and not at this one. Controlled demolition, exactly. Yep. Could, I've only seen that happen, like Ozma is saying, in controlled demolition, where they place the explosive in certain areas where it just comes straight down. And I, I thought to myself when I saw the early pictures of that, I thought, oh, that was that was like a setup. You know, that, that had to have been a setup. I know, Sandra, write prayers to the families. They're not doing it today. They're doing it tomorrow. The demolition of what's left of the Champlain Towers South, the partially collapsed condo building in Surfside, Florida, will take place between 10 p.m. The Carl, your two posts there are kind of contradictory. 10 p.m. Sunday and 3 a.m. Monday. So it's tonight. It's tonight. <laughs> it's tonight, Carl. He's like, oh, wait, that's tonight. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> Carl, Carl, you having a Donna moment? <laughs> it doesn't seem like a Sunday. Entry. Drink, <laughs> Carl, drink. Have another one, right? No kidding. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers to the 4th of July. What is Heather Blackwell doing? Her cat got on the keyboard. Donna, they think that because of McFay. What's McFay? McAfee. McAfee. Died, died recently. I, I I don't know anything about it, though. I haven't looked at it. I just found out about that a, a couple days ago. <laughs> I was her cat. You were right. Was it? Yeah. She said stupid cat is typing. <laughs> I don't know what McAfee is. Well, remember, he he's the one that designed uh, the, the antivirus for your computer. McAfee. Oh yes. He, he's turned into he, he you know he sold that business and he's been he's a big conspiracy guy, you know. So people think somebody took him out. And he left a lot of information around that if he ever died that would get sent out to, you know. Why was he in the building? No, I don't think that building. Not that I heard of, but he he died recently, so Oh, James Cisco says. Owned a condo in the building. Okay. Oh. Which has been debunked. Okay. Yeah. What an upbeat Fourth of July auction we've got tonight, Kyle. Yeah. Oh, stop it! We're just having a conversation. I'm gonna go make myself a. We're, we're a conspiracy channel tonight. Stop, Kyle. We're just chit chatting. Oh my gosh. Is he being serious or is he being just funny? Hold on, guys. Give me one minute. I just want to make myself an iced coffee. Do you have a favorite natural disaster, Kyle? Well, I can't think of any good natural disasters. So. Exactly, Osmond. He, he announced publicly that he was not suicidal, for sure. Yeah, Deborah, that was Timothy McVeigh. UFOs, oh my gosh. Did we learn anything new with all these recent uh, releases by the government? Or just what we already knew? I didn't see anything earth shattering in anyone's reported so far. Serial killers. I can talk about serial killers too, Kyle. 
We had one right here in town, one of the biggest ones for a long time. Delicious. That's what I thought, Osma, a big nothing burger, yeah. We're talking UFOs now, so you gotta catch up. Oh, <laughs> is Kyle mad? No, and when Kyle comes back, we gotta talk about serial killers, so. Uh, yeah, Osma, that's right, BTK. Fancy says, I was watching this, the Secret So Skinwalker Ranch on History Channel. Anyone else? What's that about? I don't really know. I see it pop up, and I haven't ever looked at Skinwalker Ranch. I don't know what it's about. I don't know what that is. Fancy, send me a link to my phone. Not right now. Maybe later when you think of it, because I don't want to lose the connection on the computer. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer. I, I did watch the other night, and don't ask me why I watched this. I get... I don't know how these things pop up on my recommended videos. It's so weird, like the stuff that comes up. I don't Google this kind of stuff. I don't know where it comes from. But I was watching the final words that people said before being executed, like their final words. And um, is it? Was it Jeffrey Dahmer? I don't remember. I mean, I was young when it happened. Who was that? Uh, he was the good-looking guy that was the serial killer. Um, and he was very handsome. Um, I don't think about Marilyn Manson, but I don't know that he was very good-looking. No, not Marilyn Ma Manson. The one in New York? Mm, can't remember. Ted Bundy? Yeah, maybe. Ted Bundy. That's who it was. Ted Bundy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ted Bundy. Yeah, him. I don't know, Marilyn. We haven't decided yet. What haven't we decided? Now I heard a vicious rumor that there is an auction here tonight. Yes, we're going to have one. Yeah, Ted Bundy. He was... Like, if you watch his interview... Hi, Susan. Thanks for coming in, honey. Ted Bundy. Like, if you watch his Hi, Montana, welcome in. He was so articulate. Like, his, the way he, like, presented himself and the way he spoke and the way he, uh, no, I am not, Carl, attracted to Ted Bundy. I just said that he was, he was a clean cut, like, handsome man. Like, he wasn't, like, scruffy. Right, Holly? He was a very good-looking guy and very smart. Like, when he was talking, I couldn't believe the way he was so intelligent, like, extremely intelligent, the way he would, like, put his words together, and it was unbelievable. Al Bundy. Isn't Al Bundy the one on... Um, married with children. <laughs> married with children with his hands down his pants all the time. Is that your idol, Carl? <laughs> Hmm. That's a good question, Kyle. Kyle, what's everybody's <laughs> favorite way to dispose of a body? Uh, I so haven't what's, given what's it much. Very popular on television over the last few years is, you know, decomposing in acid. So I haven't given it much thought. I have not given it much thought. Hey, Cricket, welcome in. Hi, KP. That's a trick question, Kyle. KB's like, I'm not giving myself up. You can ask all you want and keep them quiet. <laughs> Deborah Reed's got it all planned. She's got it all mapped out. Well, that, like I said, that's a real popular method here. The last few years, everybody's using acid in all their television shows and movies. Well, that started with that. Um, I was like one of the last people to watch it. I watched it after it was, um, you know, that it was all all the craze breaking um, bad yeah yeah breaking bad but um so dolores brought me a tv today and we hooked it up and i hooked up a, a vcr dvd player combo to it and i went to go get um a movie and I had just pulled like three movies i have no i have like no movies right now that i know of unless there's some in 
in the back storage room. And um, uh, we put in uh, My Cousin Vinny. It's, that's such a great movie. Yep. I don't think my kids have ever seen it. I have to play it for them. I know, right? Breaking Bad was the best show ever. You know, I, I binge watched, um, I really liked, I watched Breaking, I never, ever watched shows, you guys, ever, ever, ever. I know some people like binge watch like Netflix all the time. I never do. I don't have time. But I, there was a little, little area in my life, like maybe three or four years ago when I was doing it, before I was on YouTube, and I watched Breaking Bad, and then I watched Saul, and then I watched... Uh, you didn't watch Nerd. all the Sauls? I think there were five or six of them. That's it. That's I all there was. worse, every one of them. <laughs> yeah, that's all there was. And then I watched... Hi, Mama G. Welcome in. Welcome in, Mama G. And then I watched... Um, it was a nurse. It was the one about the nurse, you guys. What was it called? Judy or um, hi, Michael Whalen. Welcome in. It wasn't Betty, Nurse Betty. What was it? Nurse Betty. I, I think I remember what you're talking about, but I can't. Betty. Uh, no, it was it was a Judy. It was it was about the nurse that got addicted to um, Nurse Jackie. Jackie. Yeah. That Ooh. was it, Heather. Did you see that? Yes, Fancy Nurse Jackie. Hey Jojo, welcome in. Yeah, Nurse Jackie. I that was good. I liked that. I felt so bad for her though. She was so addicted. Like the way she stole that woman's ID and oh my god, and the way she put her face on her ID and was collecting her medicine. Montana Force. <laughs> my GPS says we made a wrong turn. Oh, why? Because we're talking about all this crazy stuff. Is that why she said that? Yeah. She would have called it Nurse Junkie. I know, right? Spoiler. Oh, I gave it away. Well, I mean, you can tell from the very beginning of the show that she's a junkie. Episode one. And, you know, episode one tells you that she's... Um, she was from The Sopranos. I never saw The Sopranos. Oh my God, I need more coffee. We talk about people killing others. She never killed anybody. Carl's like, sell me Pokemon, sell me records, sell me comics. What do you guys want to see first? A purse? All that. Well, Carl They're just said Pokemon comics and records, and you asked a purse. <laughs> so he, so let's see, what did he write first? The Pokemons. You didn't like my Pokemon cards that I have right now, no, Carl. Didn't. I'll show them to you, but you didn't like them. Didn't. Heidi, are you falling asleep? You need to wake up, honey. Sell me a money tree, Mr. Buys a lot. Mr. Buys a lot. Did you sell out on those, um, those Jackman. that special? Yes. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. He had a lot uh, of lots. I doubt if he sold out. What's that? He had a hundred lots, so I doubt if he sold out yet. Oh. They're so beautiful. I love them. Deborah Reed says purse. Laugh out loud. No, I sold 34 lots out of a hundred. Holy cow. Hey, Rebecca, welcome in. I want older ones. Keep the thumbs off the underneath of the picture. Oh my God, Carl, you are so bossy. I got a box of the of Brian Shackman's ornaments. It's so great. What was he selling? Heather, he's selling, he's selling Shackman. They're like paper cutout ornaments. They're absolutely beautiful. They're so beautiful. They're so gorgeous. You know, I was thinking about buying a box, to be honest with you, and breaking it up into smaller lots for people that can't do $150. You know what, Brian? Put me down for a box. Put me down for a box. I'm going to buy a box of them. And then for the, for the people that can't buy, you know, $150 because they're not resellers, but maybe they just want to buy a few of them. Fireworks. It's 4th of July. It's going to get worse. 
Oh, I know, Carl. I know, honey. I know. My fireworks are going too. Yes, I'll buy a box. Mr. Buys a lot. That way, because that way you guys can see them and um and I'll and I'll split them up into smaller lots so you can like tuck one into a greeting card for a loved one or yeah, we'll do that. Absolutely. That would be awesome. That would be awesome, awesome. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go get a purse. Is that gonna upset Carl? Should I do comics first? Carl, you want comics? Hey, Thrifty Hokey, welcome in. Welcome in. What is that emoji that Sandy Kirk is putting in the chat? Mm, what is that emoji, Sandy? I can't tell. It looks a little bit obscene from my end. I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't know where my mind is right now, but it looks a little bit... <laughs> Am I being wrong? <laughs> what is that thing? Can someone tell me? Time for rules. Eh? He says purse is fine. All right, I'm going to go get a purse. You I'm all gonna, know the rules. I'm going to go get one of the purses. $2 increments up to $50. $5 increments to $100. $10 increments after that. I'm going to get one of my favorites that I've yeah, had. That I pulled out of thirty dollar items or more. What's that? Be on live chat, not top chat. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're going As over the rules. Sales, you know, just be sure you know what you're bidding on. We don't like returns and refunds. If you're new in the background and you haven't registered, please follow Shriker's um, prompt to register. I don't see any newbies in town. Do you? Yeah, we just had one there. You just said hi to Thrifty Hokey. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know if they had a, a wrench or not. No, I dropped the link. Mama G, thank you so much for helping. Appreciate you so much. Let me know, um, corporate striker, right? Let me know when you filled out the application to the newbie in town. The registration, not application. Um yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of excited because I have a ton of old, old movies that are on those little cassettes from that we recorded on, the th and then the cassette goes into a converter, and then the converter goes into a VHS yeah. Yeah. player, and I haven't had a VHS player for years and years and years, and I'm really, really excited about... Um, about seeing some of those old home movies that we have. The kids are gonna love it. Hey, yeah, yes, I mean, that's a bolo, everybody. What's that? I said I told everybody that is a bolo, that converter. From oh, is it? Any DVs up to a VCR size tape? Yeah. I've been, I've been telling my husband to put the VCR on the TV at home. For, um, no, they're not eight millimeter. I don't know what they are. They're, are they're they dirty movies? Yeah. No, but you know what, you guys? Is Bolo Buddies in the chat? No, but. I have. I'm just putting it out there, and you guys can reach out to me if you're interested. I have a 30 gallon tote that I found in a storage unit that's filled with dirty movies and they're like really dirty movies, like really, really dirty movies. DVDs or VHS? VHS, I think. I think they're all VHS. Reach out to me if anybody's interested. Um, I haven't thrown them away yet. I'm, I, I would be too embarrassed to um, bring them to a thrift store and they have to go like either to the dump or out to the trash. And I find people trash picking my trash all the time. Okay, Carl, make an offer. Carl, they're, Carl, they're really, really, really bad. <laughs> well, we can sell them without showing them if you want. Oh my God, they're so bad, Carl. Like, you know, I'm not a prude or anything, but this stuff is like, Okay, what's lot one? Okay, here's lot one. 
I'm going to put it on the second camera so you guys can see how beautiful it is. It's colorful. What is it? Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It's like watermelon summer colors. It's red and orange and purple and green and aqua. Um, it's got uh, like a canvas strap. It has the pocket in the back um, with a snap. Um, I'm sure this is a retired pattern. What brand is that? Huh? Is that a Dooney? No, this is a coach. Oh, a coach. Okay. Hard at. Where do you want to start? Um, started at, how about we start this one at 40? got the silica oh it's got the little so it's, you've got the tag with it it's brand new Let's see if there's a price on it there is can't see it what I is know. it wow my other phone focuses better look at that yeah this is my good phone this is my my everyday phone and it's not focusing it's uh 229 dollars Wait, I want to see if I can get it to focus, you guys. Hold on. Let me see what I'm doing wrong. It's got to focus because this has got multiple cameras on it. Isn't that weird that it won't focus? Is there a product number on the tag? Product number? It's called Striped Flat. Yeah, the 3H0002. It's like too many numbers. It says manufacturer's retail price is two fifty eight, and the factory store is two twenty nine. So maybe she bought it. Hold your hand behind it, there you Carl. Go. You're so smart. Stripe flat. Yeah, because it was focusing on the purse. Yeah, that's it right there. I love that that color green is uh, is called chartreuse, chartreuse green. I love it. It's like the it's like the fresh green of like early spring leaves that that come out of trees, and 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 uh, grass that emerges from the the ground. It's so beautiful, chartreuse green. What was that? Twenty twenty five years ago when they got really really popular that chartreuse. Um. The color? Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know. Super, super hot there for a while. No, the shot. No, you're talking about, well, no, the olive green. The avocado green was the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 25 years ago wasn't chartreuse green. Um, but look at, as it came out. Look at how pretty the pink purple is in the back with the green and the aqua come on carl put in a bid i was like pass i dare you what was the retail again 289 or something 230 something 230 something I'll show you. Two twenty nine. Factory two fifty eight. Manufacturers retail. Karen, did you get a chance to watch my preview? Was Karen in my preview earlier? I don't know if she was. I know she loves her purses. I showed some purses. I don't know how many I'll show tonight, but um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get some comments right now. And 
then I'll do some of that um, cosmetic makeup that people asked for. All right, I'm going to pull out some um, some older comics. And then I'll do some newer comics. You should all be bagged and boarded because they're in such great condition. <clears throat> okay, it's sold. And she said to make sure to leave the tag in it. Of course. Like. Anyway, yeah. I wouldn't take it out. Um, who bought it? Tim or Laura. Uh, Tim and Laura. Thank you, Tim and Laura. I think this is your first win. No, I don't think so. No? No. I've been Tim and Laura, have you bought before? I don't know if I've shipped to you before. Yeah, I think they've won a few things. Oh, my gosh. Am I really losing it? <laughs> Tim and well, Laura, have I... Have I'll I sent, comment on that one. <laughs> Tim and Laura, have I sent to you before? Let me know. Because if I did, I'm like really losing it. I know they've bid a lot, but I'm sure they've won some. Are these mostly old? If so, start by showing the stack. Okay. Tim and Laura. All right, I'll show the okay. stuff. She says we have not won in this auction. What's that? She said they haven't won yet. Is See, I told you. Yep. They've done a lot of bidding. Oh. Boy, that's a giant stack. It's a big stack. For sure. All right, I'll show you what I got. It's a big stack. I want to take ownership back from my of my bathroom from Carl. So let's see. This one is number 29. This one is number 31. You know she doesn't know that answer, Carl. Until she goes through them. Yep. These are all old, I think. I'm pretty sure. This one's number 32. This one is number 27. This one is like brand new and it's number 35. Like when I tell you pristine, look. Look at this. Wait. You see it? This needs to go right into. Yeah, that's pretty. Needs to go right into a, a cover. They should have already been bagged before now. I know. You know, these are be these are beautiful, Shriker. All of these are so beautiful. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love the uh, the graphics. Hey, Glenn, Swamp's in the house. Yeah, they're awesome. These are awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, let's go through these kind of quick because I have lots of great things to show you. This is number 34. This one's number 33. This one is number 26. Here we have number two. Inventions. Oh my God, he's so cute. That's adorable. This one is number 14, number 20, number 21. Craig, hello, sweetheart. Welcome in. 
got to be careful with them and ship them with care. I will call, I promise. Number 22. This one has never been opened. I'm telling you, 23. It's like crisp. 24, 25, Number 11, number 27, see that last one, no barcodes. Yeah, pre-70s. Yeah, I really liked Richie Rich too, Brian. One oh nine. This one's like brand new, forty forty eight, twenty nine, twenty five. Another one that's like this one's like brand new. Do you think this whole stack is Richie Rich? I don't know. Forty seven. I just pulled them. Number 12, number 15, number 28, 32, 36, 17, number 7, I love that one. Look at the dollar signs in the tree. It's a money tree. Isn't that awesome? Huh, like that one. This one's this one's bagged. Oh, there's some that are bagged here. <clears throat> this one is number 35. See, no barcode. And this one's bagged. So some of them are bagged, 35, but not boarded. They're just bagged. Well, that's a start. That one's number five. This one's bagged and boarded. This one's number six. And this one's number seven. There's a lot of low numbers. Wait a minute. This one's number seven. That was the one I liked. Oh, so you get two of those. Two number sevens. One's one's bagged and boarded. This one is number four, 20 cents. 25 cents is number 13. Number 50, 50 cents. Money World is number 52, 50 cents. X is going up to 60 cents, number 58. This one's 25 cents. Look at the cover on this one, how different it is. See how it's like a glossy, see how it's like so different than all of the other ones? It's yeah. like they What's the number on that one? Huh? What's the number on that one? Number 15. Oh yeah, much earlier. They must have done something different, tried something different and it's, it's perfect. Look at, it's so nice. What year do you think this is? uh late 60s early 70s yeah probably late 60s yeah 25 cents yeah that should be 20 cents number three number four here's a number one Number five, number three again, number 14, number two, number one, number 22. Here's another number two. <clears throat> and number three again. 
number 87. You got to take a drink. Yes, Brian's for everything on the table. Everything, honey. I send them out in big lots. I want the big money. 108. That one's kind of cool. Number 67. Number 101. Number 84. 54. Number 8, 20 cents. 20 cents is number 3. Number 58 is 60 cents. Number 44 is 40 cents. This is marked $45. What number is it? Are you kidding me? All right. And that was who knows when. It's number 39, 35 cents. There's definitely nice ones in there. Oh my God. Especially in those conditions. Are you kidding? I think I gotta start selling comics. Number thirty-eight is thirty-five cents. Wait, what'd you say? You need to start selling comics? I mean, like <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you've been selling quite a few. Shit, man! When this one's one is forty-five dollars, right? At a comic store. Yeah. And that wasn't yesterday's price. That was who knows how many years ago. That was a long time. All right, number 57, number 56, number 40, number 22, number 27, number 29, number 6, Number 48 and number 35. Number 48 again. Number 56. Number 37. 26. Number 30. You found the button. Nance P, thank you for being a member. Thanks, honey. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Number 30. Number 40. Number 13. Look at that fire. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. This one's number 16, but it has on the back of it a big number 80 written in like some sort of chalk or something. Uh, so wax, wax crayon. Just so that you know. This one is number 19, 35 cents. Number 14, 30 cents. Number five, 25 cents. Um, number 17 is 30 cents. And number 13 is 30 cents again. And that's all of them. And I'm going to go get a bucket to put them in. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> There'll be other lots, Carl. I can't, I, just, I, I can't make that man happy. Uh-uh. I can't. It's he's been a long fool. time since I've seen a stack of Richie Riches that big. He says, he says, uh, how, Jack, I, I didn't count them, honey. I'm sorry. Is it important that I count them? Now he can see the stack when you get it all put together. Carl, they are in excellent, excellent, excellent condition. I promise you I will handle them with extreme care because they are. They're in excellent condition. Look at them. Yeah, I didn't count them, Jack. I was reading off the numbers. I'm going to say 75-ish. Yeah, probably close to 100, I would say. And Lola's doing really, really great with packing stuff, so they will be packed with care. Oh my gosh, they're so awesome. Sometimes I wish I could keep everything that I sell. And what would you do with all of that? I don't know, Shriker. I just, I love the stuff that I have sometimes. I, lo I love it so much. I've got so much like vintage stuff right now. Oh my gosh, so many beautiful things from Jesse. I think about that with books sometimes. If I would have kept every book I've ever handled, how big of a place I'd have to have. I had my daughter, I found a new spot to put all of the records and I had my daughter put all of the records like nice and neat and pile them all up. And she was like flipping out over the titles that I have right now. It's so funny that these kids, they love the old rock and roll. I'll be right back, okay? Do I have a choice? Yeah, I'll ask her, Amy. Okay, you're gonna cut it down. Congratulations, Jack. All right. 
Did we sell it? We did. Okay. 185 to Jack. 185 to Jack? Yep. All right, Jack, congratulations. A couple other things. You're not supposed to store those comics on the spine like that. You're not supposed to? Nope. And Amy Billings want to see cosmetics before she goes to bed. Okay. I, I just got them. That's what I went to go get. Um, comics. Well, that's a great lot. I think Jack will, will be happy with that. Heck yeah. At that price for sure. Okay, let's see what I brought over here. I bought this. Are you gonna do all three boxes? Um, no, I think I'm gonna do that one separate. I'll do this one and yeah, I'll do this one separate and those two at the same company. <clears throat> so where do you, you wanna start that? Um, started at 20. Any dates on that or anything? I don't know. There's no dates on the box. And it probably doesn't have an expiration if it's not on the other box. It just has like a product number on the bottom. Yep. my fireworks better or yours greens is out and amy is the only one left bidding <clears throat> It fell out. It sounds like you're popping popcorn. It you sounds see? like it here too. <laughs> <laughs> Did it overheat or anything? It's been an it's, hour. It's, it's overheating a little bit. Yeah. Okay. 
So, so, so. Oops. Oh, hold your ears, you guys. Sorry about that. I forgot to um, delete uh, the phone. Can you read the product description, please? Oh, Amy's lagging. Did she see that it sold? No, I'll let her know. You guys take a moment to refresh. Um, and it went to Amy Billings. Amy Billings. You gonna do both of those together? Yeah, I'll do those together since they're the same name. Uh, same price? Yeah. 20. Have we started at 20? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mama Jean wants to know if that's a Yadro on the shelf behind you. Um, I have one Yadro left. I sold all the Yadros. There, I some of them, the Yadros that I got, some of them were actual Yadros and some looked like Yadros but they don't say Yadro on them. But T told me that there's a company that made look-alike Yadros. She thought that maybe that's what they were. I do have one Yadro left. I sold them all. Um, um, Jonathan Alfaro bought them all. All but one. He bought three. Someone else bought one. Yeah. <laughs> Nondro. <laughs> Nondro. <laughs> I'll show you what I have. They look like Yadros, but they're not. They don't say it. See it next. I think we have some interested parties. Hmm? I think we have some in interested parties for that yard drill if you want to show it. The last one that I have? Yeah. Show it? Yeah. All right, I'll go get it. Yes, Carl, thank you. That's the brand name on it. Those Yadros were beautiful. That Jonathan got, he got them at a great price too. Jonathan, you here? I know sometimes he watches in the background. <clears throat> um, I have to find it. I had it on display. Where did I put it? I had it on display in my living room. It's so beautiful. Uh, I found it. Let me 
these days, I'm going to do a five. I have one, two, three china cabinets in here filled with glassware. And I'm going to do a live where we're just going to like shop right out of the china cabinets. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. To uh, do something different. Pop over to that private chat for a second. What's that? Uh, check out your private chat. Okay. Hello, Christine. Still in Maine until tomorrow. Okay. Hi, Christine Rose. I'm jealous that you're in Maine. I want to be in Maine. Probably much cooler up there for sure. Oh no, has it been cold and rainy? Yeah. That's okay. It's still nice to get away. Florida rules, huh? Right, Carl. We had we had a lot of rain last week though. Did you have a lot of rain last week? I felt bad when um Megan was here for 4 days. It rained every day. Hi, Patty. I didn't see you come in. Just got here. Hey, Jules. Doreen. And you do have a, you uh, here. Don't you have a hurricane out there somewhere close by? It's um yeah, there's a hurricane coming, but it's going it's skirting right around um Palm Beach. Oh. It's not gonna hit us. Yep, lots of rain, right, Carl? We had lots of rain last week. My grass is so green here at the cottage. It's awesome. Yeah, about to get a lot more rain, right? Carl, yeah, it's coming towards you, but I think it's skirting around you too. I think it's like going like uh, really south Florida and then it's boomeranging up and going across the cent uh, the, the middle of the state. Amy's winning this one too? Yes. Hi, Ryan. Wait a minute, where does Ryan live? I don't know. Ryan, where do you live? I thought he was in Florida as well, but I may be wrong. Are you Ryan? Are you over on the other coast as well? Did you hear that I am planning a meetup on July 13th in St. Petersburg? <laughs> All right, James. No one on the West Coast is going to get hit by it. <laughs> oh, he's in Plantation. Yeah. Ryan, is that south of me? Isn't that like Miami? Yeah. Yeah, that's like Miami, isn't it, Ryan? All right, Amy's going to bed now. That she won her two lots. Oh, Amy, sweet dreams, honey. Thank you. I'm still I'm I'm still writing billings. Look at look at Amy. I can't stop. I'm still writing billings. Look. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you invoice it, you'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, Ryan, you're in Fort Lauderdale? Ryan, you gotta come up and visit me. You're only like 45 minutes away. You should come up some Friday night when I do my Friday night um, my Friday night auction. We could hang out at the cottage, and you could do uh, you could do the auction with me. Come up as a guest. All right. So this is the Yadro. I'm going to show it to you in one minute. Let me just put Amy's things away <clears throat> with her other stuff. Thank you, Amy. Sweet dreams, honey. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, Ryan, anytime. I'm here, Ryan. I'm here all the time. I'm here all the time working right now. I, I, I told my family I was on a, uh, 
but I left and I'm on a, a one year tour of duty. <laughs> like I was in the service. <laughs> so I'm here all the time. So it doesn't have any chips or cracks or crazing. Um, she's beautiful. She's got the ducks. She's got the mama duck with the baby ducks. Um, or do you want to start it at? Oh, Carl, you got to come. Come on over. We can stay here at the cottage. Beer in hand. <laughs> You can come over anytime. Bring your wife. I have a guest room you can stay in. I don't know. What do you want to start this at, Shriker? What do you think? This is my last one. I don't have any more Yadros. Yeah. I don't know. How about 75? All right. It's in excellent condition. Yeah, you have to keep an eye on Carl if you let him in the door. He wants all your books. Oh, Rebecca, you already have this one? Yeah, my God, there was one that I sold that was tremendous, right? That the, the girl reading the book on the stump. Oh, my God, it was, what was it? Uh, Schreiker was like 22 inches tall or something crazy like that. Yeah, it was, it was pretty large. Yeah, make him sleep in the bathtub. I'd have to sleep in my bathroom. <laughs> You're not going to own it by the time you get here. You're not going to own it anymore. Start at 250. Well, Rebecca, buy a second one. I know, Rebecca, the one, um, the other ones that I sold too, they, they sold for um, a really good price and they were uh, pretty expensive ones, but that's okay. That's what I do. I give people really good prices. All right. Well, if there's, hey, Steve, judgmental care is here. Beware of mission creep. Okay. Is that a YouTuber? Is that, is that mission creep? Is that a YouTuber? I'm not sure. Rebecca's like, no one's bidding. I'm going to bid, even though I have one. I don't know. Oh, Christine. Doreen, that's awful. Listen to those fireworks. The term of duty may be extended to two years, right? Oh my goodness gracious, no kidding. At the rate I'm going, I'm not getting as much done as I was hoping. I mean, I got a lot done, but... All right, nobody else wants it. We're going to give it to Rebecca. Rebecca's going to steal this from me for 75 Yep, she's going to get a deal. We're going to start calling it down. Good night, Christine. Thanks for coming in. Don't let the mosquitoes bite instead of the bed, bed bugs bite. Going twice to Rebecca. Fair warning.
Oh, really, Rebecca? Awesome. Well, there you go, sweetheart. Now you got one. Lot number five sold for $75 to Rebecca. Rebecca, is this your first time buying? Congratulations. I think it is. Awesome, honey. I'm so glad that you've got a nice, a nice new one to your collection. Congratulations. Congratulations, congratulations. Okay. For my next lot. Um, all right, you know what? I'm gonna do some records. What we got for records here. For prime reason, they're not uh, curated. It's her first buy. Yeah, thanks, Rebecca. Okay, we've got the Steve Miller Band. Italian x-rays. Next one is yes. He's got a nice tush. This one is Johnny Winter. It's pretty uh, beat up. The, um, the, um, the cover just so that you know then we have joe walsh the smoker you drink the player you get loot raider welcome in here we have winward joe walsh recorded live platinum plus Here's Joe Walsh again. There goes the neighborhood. Joe Walsh again. You brought it, you name it. Al Stewart. Cat Stevens. We have Sticks, Paradise, Gala, Premiere. Sticks again. Here is Barbara Streisand, Guilty. Donna Summer. Where is Donna Summer? I never see Donna Summer come in anymore. Yeah, I, hope she's, I hope she's okay. Sticks. It hasn't been that long. I think last week I seen her once. Sunny and Cher. Yeah, she used to always be here. Christine McVie. The Buddy Miles Band. Look at that. That's an awesome album cover. How about a little Chuck Mangione? The Marshall Tucker Band. The Merry Men Live. And... Michael McDonald. Let me see how many are here. There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Yeah, that's good. I can ship 22 at a good price. 22 records. Anthony. Kyle Elliott comes in at 55. No, he doesn't. Nope, Anthony does, sorry. Rebecca comes in at 60. But I bet we see Kyle again. Rebecca's out. We've got Anthony at 65. Anthony does good with my records in his booth. Yeah, he likes them. Yep. He obviously is very happy with them because he's constantly buying them. So thank you, Anthony. It's a nice compliment. All right, Anthony's at We're sold, sold, sold. Oh, did you, Carl? Awesome. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to do another lot real quick. and then i'm going to do a drop and stop clothing and then i'm going to do another purse then i'll do some more comics i've got some ephemera too that i was going to do oh carl i love you honey okay we've got vanilla fudge that's number one, Cheap Thrills. That's an awesome album cover. Angelina was looking at this one. I'm like, put it back, put it back, put it down. That's number two. She had her eyeballs on that one. The Steve Miller Band is number three. Steve Miller Band, again, is number four. 
Carl, yes. We're going to be on tomorrow morning on T's channel, honey. This one is Janice Joplin is number five. This is hard for the gang. I don't know. Looks like there's some damage on it here and down here is number six. Uh, Gloria Gaynor is number seven. Chachi! Where have you been, buddy? Hello, hello. Welcome in. Long time no see. Does everybody say hi to Chachi? It's giving me the uh, the hearts on the 11th. Thank you. Um, Bruce Hornsby and the Range is number eight. Art Gumpunk. Garfunkel, calm down, Donna, is number nine. Daryl John and Hall Oates, H2O. That's an awesome album cover right there. God, the photography for when they did this is really amazing. Look at how that looks like real wet, right? It's awesome. I forgot what number that was. Thank you, Dora. Thank you, Sandy. Working, working, working. I know, Chachi. I know, honey. We all are. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Mr. Tasman. Thank you for the hearts, you guys. Thank you. For those of you that are new to the channel, all of my old-time friends here are putting hearts in the chat on the 11s because... Um, um, in memory of my 11-year-old son who died of cancer on June 11th. So the numbers 1111 are very dear to me. So that's why they're doing the hearts. Thank you, Harley. Thank you, honey. Do you see Dee's comment? Dee's comment? They just demolished the rest of the condo in Florida. Shoot! I wanted to... They do want a replay? I wanted to watch it. Thank you, Mama G. Oh, Mrs. Anonymous. Hi, honey. Thank you. Mrs. Anonymous, You, I'm going to take care of your order this week. You've been so patient. Are they doing a replay of it? I don't know. I was going to look. You looking? Let me know. You, should, you can share your screen. Carol King. Carol King again. The Brothers Johnson light up the night. Blows against the empire. From what we heard about. Oh, thank you, Steve. Harley Kitten, you don't know about the condo collapse in um, in Miami. It's awful. So many people lost their lives. Um, this is James Gang. We'll get $2 price tag on that old price tag. Yusuf Latif, the gentle giant. I don't know what kind of music that is. Is this gospel music, you guys? Adam and the Ants? That's not. Adam and the Ants again. Jesse Colin Young. Um, struggling time, Junior Biggs. Looks like house music. Oh my gosh! Look at Cher. Cher back a backstage. Look at her. She's so young in that. Here's yes. Tomato. And then the Lung the London Chuck Berry session. This is an awesome album cover. Look at that one. That is so cool. Okay, I think I got it here if you want to see it. Okay, yeah. Share your screen. All right. Let's see, you guys. Let's take a break and watch this. I can't believe they... Well, they were trying to take it down before the hurricane comes. That's why... Holy crap. I can't believe they did it at nighttime. Holy crap. Oh my God. 
Those people are in so much trouble that own that building. Holy cow. And you have just watched them. So sad. How are they ever, ever going to find the remains of the rest of those bodies with all that added debris? Well, they, they tarped off the original site, so that wouldn't interfere so much with it. Yeah, okay, so they tarped it off, but what if this, I mean, I know it's been a week, but what if there's still survivors? Boy, it'd be unlikely. I know, it's so sad, right, Rebecca? It's so awful. I mean, I don't know, like, people have been found to survive stuff like that, like, they found survivors like a week later. Like, I mean, there's, yeah, there's no. They've called off the search already, it looks like. Oh, they did, Carl. They, they called off the search. Those poor families. It's like 9-11 all over again. I mean, it was just, you know how many people are going to have like, like mental, like just seeing that. 127 missing. How many people died in 9-11? Does anybody know the number? How many people uh, were in those 2, towers? Huh? A little over 2,000. Over 2,000. It's not the bill. It's not the building inspector's fault. The building inspector warned the owner of the building, um, that it was unsafe. It's the owner of the building's fault and the HOA's fault. They they were cited three years ago. I guess the building inspectors could be held accountable for not making all of the residents vacate the building because um, it was unsafe. I guess that's what they could be held responsible for because I mean, how far does a building inspector's job like really go? Like, can do they have the power to make people vacate a building? That has to be, that has to be the owners of the building. Yeah, I know it's so can. sad. They could shut down a building. Inspectors can. No remaining survivors. I I keep I keep replaying that video that I watched last night of that beautiful young woman. She was um, Shaker. See if you can find it. I'm sure that there's like th that beautiful young woman who was like knocking, 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 tap and tap, and they just couldn't get to her. And then they showed her TikTok and how, just a beautiful, beautiful like promising career she was a jewelry designer maybe if you google jewelry designer in new york died in miami building crash or something like that maybe it will pop up the building inspectors likely shielded form liability First time, <laughs> Mama G says, <laughs> we have to close on these records first. All right, let's do that. <laughs> wow, so sad. I agree, Amy, but how do you displace all those families? Like, where do you tell them to go and... I mean, where do you tell them to go? Donna, the building inspector can condemn a building and make everyone leave. So it does rest on the building inspectors that are probably paid off. Mr. Tasman, you're probably right. Yes, they can condemn a building. Yes, they can. Did you show all the records? Did I show them all? Yeah. Yeah. How many were there? Did you count them? I did not. Okay. I'll count them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I'll go get one more and make it 24. Some of you may not think that this is a good one, but I think it's a good one because I love, um, oh my God, this has got, this album, this is very unusual. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to do two more. I, I picked this one because I love Elton John. I love Elton John, but this one has got uh, Odds and Sons, The Who, and it has all this like cut out pieces. You see how my finger, but the most amazing thing about this album is that it has Braille on it. You see it guys? Yeah, we can see it. Huh? Yeah, we can see it. It has Braille written all over it. What's it say? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea, but that's pretty amazing. So on the front, is there just the one main flap on the top or do some of the other ones open? Or do any um, of them open? What's, ask me that again? The front, the front cover. Yeah. You said there's, are there some of those flaps where they open? See, look. Do, does it flip up? Oh, it's a cutout, okay. They're like, it's like cut out. And then, but it doesn't come out. Here's the record. Here's the, here's the words. Here's the record. This piece, this piece doesn't come out. There's like a, there's a picture in there. Yeah. I don't know how you see it, but check that yeah, out. You're only supposed to see a part of it through the cutout. Yeah, you can only see a part of it inside there. I don't know. I don't know the history that about this. Um, but look at it. It's got a dairy sticker on it. It says dairy. $2.95. <laughs> That's really cool. It's a very cool album. I've never seen an album with Braille on it. I wonder if it has the song. It's not dark here, but we are lucky. We live rural, not as much fireworks happening. Odds and sods, the who rock. It's a pretty cool album. I have to say that's probably one of the nicest albums I've ever had. Well, and I've sold a lot of albums. KP is out. Look who's here. Connie Johnson stays quiet and then bam, <laughs> she comes in like lightning. Connie, is there a poster in it? Carl, are you being serious? Probably just a decorated uh, sleeve. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, no. This is this is the actual it's like I don't think it's a poster, Carl, but it's like a and it, it is ripped up there just so that you see that. I think it's the words to all the songs, right? And you want to pull the disc out and take a look at that? What? Pull the disc out and take a look at it. No, there's no there's no poster, Carl. And I'm looking at the disc, and it is in excellent condition. Excellent condition. Okay. 
I had another I had another engraved album, Mr. Tasman, that I didn't notice. No, that stick that sticks from the other day. This is the who. Yeah, we were talking about one from the other day. Oh, 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 I had one the other day that was engraved. Yeah, the sticks one. I don't even remember. It had two women. It had sticks on the top and a woman on each side on the record itself. Gosh, I don't even remember. This is awesome, too. I love Elton. I've seen him in concert so many times. This is my favorite growing up. I still love his songs. My kids do, too. I'm so lucky that they love his songs. We listen to Elton all the time. Look at how young he is. Have you, Beetlebug? Yeah, I love Elton. He's he's unbelievable. How come I can't close this now? Oh, okay, I got it. Never mind. What's a vanilla fudge? I can't say I've ever heard of vanilla fudge. Elaine, hi. The Braille on the Who is the song titles. Good to see you, Elaine. That's awesome that they did that, that they put that there. <clears throat> okay, we're sold. Sorry, oh, we're PP, sold? you're just a hair late there. Yep. Um, let's see, who bought it? Connie for 130. Awesome, Connie, thank you. Okay, I'm going to do another purse, and then I'm going to do some drop and stop clothing, you guys, because I am going to pick up 26 bags of designer clothes tomorrow from a Boca Raton closet clean-out that I was uh, telling you guys about, a uh, 5,000-square-foot mansion. Hold on, i got to put these over here. 5,000 square foot mansion. The family sold it with all of their Florida belongings and all the furniture. And the new people want it completely emptied out because they're um, remodeling it. And I'm buying all of the linens, the bedding, towels. Um, maybe some of the kitchen stuff, I'm not 100% sure, but all of the clothing from all of the closets. So God only knows what I've got coming. So I had to make some room in my back room today to prepare for this huge delivery I've got coming tomorrow. Well, not delivery, I have to go pick it up. The girls are gonna help you though. I'm going to start it. Triker, I'm going to start this purse. is incredible, and I am going to start it at $100. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What is it? It's a coach. Coach. It's amazing. It comes with this brush. It comes with this little pouch with instructions and this eraser looking thing. It is aqua blue velvet, uh, aqua blue um, suede. It's incredible. It's an incredible piece of uh, leather. It's really a masterpiece. Is there a wallet inside? Brand new with the tags. Yes, it's new. Does it have a name or a style number or anything on it? Identification of any kind? A look. Look at how beautiful that is. That lining looks nice. It's beautiful. It's so elegant. Look at how beautiful it is. It is, is it? Is it This wallet doesn't doesn't go with the purse, but I think it matches the purse really beautiful because it's got the same shade of like aqua blue, but it you know it wasn't inside the purse; it was separate. The uh, main purse doesn't have any hang tags on it, does it? No. Well, I mean, it doesn't have any price tags on it, but it has. Um, oh, it's got the little kiss locks on the side. No, it doesn't have any paperwork with that. But I think I think there was some paperwork in one of those boxes that I opened. Hold on, let me see. Oh, 
I know I saw a little approach there. My living room is a mess. I don't like look I don't like inventory in the living room. <sighs> All right. Harley comes in at 140. That's right. And D is out. All right, so we're gonna call it down. Isn't it, Rebecca? It's so beautiful. It's so elegant. That's the kind of pocketbook that people will come up to you and say, oh, your pocketbook is beautiful. <laughs> this is like a patent leather and this is a regular leather and that's suede but I thought I'd pair them up because they look so beautiful together. See the, the um, trim on this is the same color as the purse. And it's got the same kind of closure. For your sister, awesome. Harley Handler, do you have a gift certificate? Refresh my memory, I don't remember. Okay, you don't, okay. All right, congratulations, honey, it's beautiful. Okay, we're gonna do a, um, we're gonna do a hundred dollar drop and stop. Are you selling more gift certificates? No, not right now. I, after I pick up my, after I pick up my inventory that I'm picking up tomorrow, 
um, if I see that it's an exceptional buy, I will offer gift certificates again. Um, yeah, I promised myself that, I mean, I've, I only have a few people left with gift certificates and I said that I, I wouldn't do it until um, I get like a super duper like purchase like I did like with the craft lots and like I did with the purses and um, you know the comics and yeah so we'll see okay I'm gonna put you on the screen with me and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna pile the clothes up on the second camera but I'm gonna show you the clothes it's going to be a hundred dollar drop and stop. So for those of you that don't know what a, a drop and stop is, I'm going to show you the clothing. I'm going to show you the name. I'll give you the size and I'm going to pile them up. The craft lot was awesome. Oh, thanks Carl. Yeah. Um, and when you think you see enough items in the pile for $100, you're going to write sold in the chat. Okay, so this is great for resellers or for personal use. So this is a Morona, which is not like, um, it's, uh, I don't know what Morona is. Is it Target? I got a mosquito bite. Um, it's an Argyle sweater. Okay, that's number one. This one is beautiful cotton sweater and it is bass yes target that's what i thought it's bass and it's size medium and that's what it looks like is that a purple dark purple this is brown. yeah it's like a plum plum okay like a plum yep size medium on that one this one is called 90, 9, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, oh my God, <laughs> 90, <laughs> it's a size small. I know. Sorry, you guys. You know me. I can speak two languages, but some words are hard for me to pronounce. That was a hard word for me to pronounce. It was almost painful. This one is Tommy Hilfiger, and it's small. And this is pink and brown, and it's a sweater. Tommy Hilfiger, small. Next, we have American Living. It's a size small. It's a tuxedo, tuxedo style shirt. It's really pretty. Look at look at the work on it. Can you guys see the work on that? It's beautiful. Here we have another Tommy Hill figure. It's a size small, but it's a big small. It looks like it would be more like a medium. Cute little cardigan. The big buttons on it. Now is oh, that pink or red? This is, it looks like hot pink. So a lot of these clothes, this woman, she... Um, just removed the tags off of them and put them in bins and put them in her storage unit. And a lot of them have most, almost all of them have not been washed. This one is a size two and it is um, Ann Taylor loft size two. And it's got the beautiful three buttons on the bottom. It's a very pretty style. Oh, good night, Carl. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. We're going to do, we're going to go on T's channel. I think she said 11. Um, here's another, this name, where's this, where's this brand name from? I don't know where this name is from. I have no idea. Me neither. I've seen it before. Size so small. Size so small. Again, it's really nice. It looks like quality clothes. Um, this one is another Ann Taylor loft and it's a size zero, same style. 
top. <clears throat> Next is Liz Claiborne, and it's a size small, and it's adorable. It's brand new. It's got all of that kind of uh, smocking style on the top, on the back shoulders and the front shoulders. And again, it's brand new. This must have been her white purchasing days. This is Will Smith, which I think is Macy's. Size small again. She went, she went through these crazes where she bought like different, you know, like she, this one, obviously she was buying like all the same style. This one is Lucy and Laurel and it's a size small. Again, it's like a really, really thin, um, kind of like a poet shirt with a pretty, um, um, eyelet bottom. Very nice. Um, next is Will Smith again, size small. Again, another white shirt. Next, we have Will Smith again, size small with the big brown buttons on it. The buttons are awesome on it. Um, next, we have WDNY New York, WD New York, size small, another white, very similar to the styles that she was buying when she was on this craze of buying these shirts with these little pleats on the top. Never wore them, just bought them, folded them, put them away. That's kind of like a tunic. This one is Carol Little size small again it feels like it's linen with the paisley in the front now we're in her brown part of her closet size small tweeds feels like linen and it has a little belt that just fell on my lap it's definitely linen feels like linen it's got um really pretty linen work on it. Here's another Will Smith brown again, similar style. And it's got the smocking in the back where it's gathered. This is Harvey Banad, size small. It's cotton and it has those really pretty pleated Sleeves um, tight on the waist for shape. Then we're back to white and it's Canyon River Blues and it is size small again and it's a poet shirt with a silver thread running through it. Claudia Richard, size small, with an embroidered front. We're back in her white side. This one's called Autograph New York, 100% linen, size small again. Those of you that are resellers, you know, some people only will buy linen clothes. This is a really beautiful little, I could see a little Chinese woman wearing that. This one's called Autograph New York again, and this is cotton. And it's got gold buttons on the top and gold buttons down the front. And it's got the tight waist on it. And Taylor Loft, size four, striped shirt with the white cuffs. And Taylor Loft, size two, striped shirt. Um, 
Jones Wear Studio, 100% cotton. It's a dotty shirt, you guys. Nice long slits on the side. It's a smock, very thin cotton, and it has an S on the pocket for Style Studios. Um, back to the brown part of the closet, Van Heusen, size extra small, and it's brown. Nice cuffs on it. This one is a Kenner, size four, looks like linen, it is. Nice brown linen top. These are a pair of tribal stretch expandable size 2P pants. Brand new. Anybody who's a size small, you'd have an amazing wardrobe here. This looks like a hospital shirt. It's um, fundamental cotton by... I can't read it. Something swan. And it's all animals. It's cats and dogs. And this one is a size small as well. I know, right, Karen? Me too, honey. I wish they were bigger also. But I think small sizes are just as good as little sizes. This one is autograph. New York, size small again. I think that we saw another one that was identical to this with the gold buttons. I think it was white. This one is in brown with the cuff with the little uh, piece in the back. This one is uh, Loren, and it's a size small, and it reminds me of a really pretty boating sweater. It's got these. Nice clasps in the front, striped with a white hood. Here we have Alexandra Bartlett, size medium, all embroidered. Another smock. Um, this one feels like cotton. It's a Liz Claiborne. Yeah, this camera fell out again. Size small. Oh, okay. We'll let it cool down a minute. Another size small. That one feels like linen and it's black. Here's a pair of pants, a Jones in New York, stretch, size two. Here's a pair of brown pants. And Van Heusen, size small, pair of Uh, like working slacks. And Ann Taylor, size four, striped. Oh, this is just Massimo. It's Mosimo. It's a supply company casual tee. It's a size medium. It's just a blue t-shirt. That's all that is. Um, here is Ann Taylor Loft, size small again. Little black, cute little black shirt. No interest in this, you guys? 
doesn't look like. Should I stop? Tommy Hill figure, size small, plaid, cute for the holidays with the denim inside, brown plaid. Here is Calvin Klein jeans, size small again. Back to her pleated days. This one's Calvin Klein. This one is Loren, size two. Pair of brown slacks. All you have lined. Enough to fill a suitcase already. Hmm. You have enough to fill a suitcase. It looks like. Oh yeah, this is this will be very expensive to ship out. Probably has would have to go out in three bundles if if it even sells. I'll show a few more pieces. If there's no interest, then I'll pull it. Um, this is Ann Taylor Loft, size two, black slacks. Again, they're new. These all have the sizing in them, you guys, so they're definitely new. Um, Loren, again, size two, feels like linen, probably is linen, 100% linen. Loren. It's all wrinkled because you know that's what linen does. Here's another 100% linen Loren size two striped linen shirt. Reseller lot for days, right, Kyle? No kidding. This is a score. Style and Company, size two. Plaid. All right, we're going to call it. Doesn't look like beautiful career wear. Doesn't look like anybody's interested. I'll bring it back another day. Can you hold the whole lot up, or is it too heavy? Nance P, that's my lot. <laughs> Nance, that's all your sizes. It's a lot of pieces. I can't hold that up. I'd have to count them and put them back in. Uh, the limited size small black cotton shirt. Okay, Nance is going to take it. You want to take it, Nance? All right, Nance, there's a bunch more in here. I'm going to um, include it all for you, honey. It's all yours, baby. Thank you so much. You've got a whole tremendous, beautiful wardrobe. My gosh, you just got an entire wardrobe for $100. That's like the cost of like three pieces of this stuff. Could you reproduce it to a, for another lot? Um, Similar? I don't know if I can do another lot because I have to, I'd have to carry the bucket over. No, I, don't, I don't mean to show it, but if somebody wanted to buy one side unseen. Um, Count the pieces and give the same number of pieces. I don't think so, because this is probably going to have to go out in a couple, of, at, couple least, of at least three lots. It's going to be really expensive to ship out. So um, I think I'll hold out on that. So Nance P. Uh, so Nance, you sent me a hundred dollars, but you have a couple other things here too, right? So she, says, she said, "Don't worry about the other lot." I was asking about. Okay, so you want me to put the hundred dollars that you sent me towards this lot? And I think do you have a coat here or something? I can't remember. Because she sent me $100 and asked me to put a, a lot together. Hey, Butterfly Hustles. Um, is that right? Do I have that right, Nance? 
the lot that you said you wanted Angelina to put together for you? Lot number nine, $100. Yes. So you want this lot for the $100 that you sent me. Okay. You got it, sweetheart. It's yours. Okay. All right, let's move this out of the way. Nance, please send her an email just to clarify that whole situation. Or a phone call, if you like. Okay, let's do this as my next slide. Did I promise I was going to show something else? No coat. No. Donna's email. Donna, tell us phone number. Thank you. I just wanted her to contact you to make sure you're on the same wavelength. Oh, yeah. Donna, hi. I've been lurking since the last purse. Just came. Happy 4th. Hi, KJ. Hello, hello, hello. Do you have any two or three shirts? No, Karen. Not right now, but I don't know what I'm picking up tomorrow. I have no idea what I'm picking up tomorrow. But it seems like, I hate to say it, I hate to say this out loud, but it seems like like rich people mansion clothes are always so small. These women. Let me see if I can adjust this, you guys. Give me one quick minute. And besides, if there was that size in the lot, you'd have to arm wrestle me for them. Because <laughs> that's kind of like what I'm wearing right now. Um, double XL. Mm. Okay. Let's see. Let's turn down the volume so I don't kill your ears. My phone is cooled down. Give me a, one second. They're rich because they don't spend any money on food. Well, they go out to eat a lot, that's for sure. Okay. I'll put this back up and I'll show you what my next lot is. Jean Pierre, buongiorno. All right, let me adjust my camera. And I'm going to do this as a um, I'm going to add this to the screen. Okay, so I'm going to do this as four pieces. Oops, let me just mute this. Sorry, or keep move. I'm going to do this as four pieces. All you're going to get all four of them. You're going to get this bliss, which is um, face wash and body wash. All right, wait a minute, guys. Let me smell this. Oh, it's sealed. Let's see, it's sealed. Where are you going to start this one? I don't know. I'm thinking about keeping it. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Moisturizing body. It's all sealed. There's cream, there's body wash, and there's face wash. All right. Miss Donna is going to keep this one. Oh, I have some ephemera. All right, you guys, sorry I showed it to you. No, Kyle, I deserve something once in a while. I just looked at it. Okay, but you can have this one, plus Sonic Skin Cleansing for face and body. This is brand new. It's sealed. It still has the little round sticker on it. Clear Sonic, it's called. Three speeds. 
pink blossom all right that and this which is also clear sonic which is brand new it's called mia 2 thank you butterfly hustles just a little soap <laughs> Just, I, I love nice smelling soap. I love it, love it, love it. And then this Michael Kors cosmetic bag with the little Michael Kors cosmetic bag inside of it. Oh, I got to pull this. Look. It's not passing the scratch test. Is that satisfying, you guys? That's what happens when people leave things in storage units in South Florida for too long. Too much heat. Yep, too much heat. That's a bummer. This is so such we a have cute. two Clarisonic pieces. Let's see. Yeah, look. See? No, I don't want it, Nancy P. I don't want that. I'm throwing this away. It's yucky. It's all peeling. Doesn't pass the scratch test. Yep. All right. So we started with four and we're down to two. <laughs> Let me go get something else to put in it. Let me find something else cool and neat Okay, let's put this in it. Um, yes, this is new. Jim. It has, you see the, um, the sticker on it that it's never been opened? This, the click, can you see that on camera? Yeah, we can see it. The, there it is. See, it's never been open. Now, does the other stuff go with that? What? The uh, brown box, what's in it? I have no idea. It's a cleansing, skin cleansing, so it may go with that tool. Soap for that tool. Let's start this at 30. This one and this one, and then I'm gonna include this. This is brand new too. And that does what? Um, Ozma said it's a micro, ma, ma, um, ma, uh, micro abrasion. Micro abrasion. I thought I thought that's what the white box was. Is the, the micro abrasion microderm? Isn't that what it says on the white box? And then I'm going to include this brand new. Um, I no, that's a clean. That's like a cleanser thing. And this. Casual flipper. And this. And 
open that. I don't know what this stuff is, you guys. You might know what it is. New mascara for Donna. I'm going to go see if there's anything else. I'll be right back. I feel like QVC. Does it look like QVC? Is that travel containers? What What's the uh, the name on that dermabrasion machine? Is there a name on it? Skin, Skin science. science. All this stuff is brand new. And there's a beautiful lot. That's awesome stuff right there. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Tim and Laura. Thank you, everyone that's bidding. I appreciate it. I've got goals, 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 goals. stuff. I gotta look. Another little purse. Another little makeup case. 
Patty's at 100. Moni's at 110. I'm going to get a bucket to put it in. Patty's at 120. Moni is love is out. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. I got lots of great other lots. I'm running out of steam though. Don't forget, I worked all day today. I wish I could hang out with you guys and sell all night. Sometimes I have to listen to my body. Thank you, Lisa. My shoulder's killing me, Frank. And I'm so sad about it. Because you know I don't slow down. I'm going to call the doctor on, um, on um, Tuesday. See if he'll give me congratulations, Patty. See if he'll give me one more cortisone shot, and then and then I'll go to get um, an MRI. Where are we starting? It started at fifty. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Yes, casual flipper, bad shoulder pain. I damaged my rotator cuff, thinking that I'm a teenager, lifting heavy things, working like a mule. What's my new thing? I say I work like a jackass. It still has the tag on it, but the actual tag is gone. It's beautiful inside. It's very pretty blue satin and it has the paperwork in it brand new never been used it's gorgeous so that's actually what gallery a uh, gray this is gray and black gray and black Gray and black. Yeah. 
I know butterfly kisses. It is horrible, especially when, when all I do is lift heavy buckets all day long. Yeah, I asked the doctor if I should sling it, and he said no. He said if the cortisone shot, shot didn't help me, then I was going to need an MRI. So I did ask him. You know what? I used to use essential oils all the time for sciatic pain, but I haven't thought about putting them on for my shoulder. But that's a good that's a good suggestion. I actually have some essential oils. <clears throat> Let me go see what I have. I know that they're brand new. I think I know exactly where they are. weed oil yeah you're probably right rub icy hot i don't have any icy hot but i do have some medicated cream oh she's she was partying all day she's probably sound asleep in la la land we're going to be back on tomorrow on her channel Either 10 or 11, she hasn't decided. Who's winning this? D? D at 100. All right, D. Beautiful. Coach and wallet. Sold, sold, sold for $100. All right, Mrs. Anonymous, this is what I have. Tell me if tell me if these are anything I should put on my shoulder. I have this one. They're all brand new. It's P and J. I have cinnamon. I have harvest spice. Are these for ingesting or are these for putting on your body? Or are these for smelling nice in the house? Christmas wreath. Yeah, those look more like incense to me. Gingerbread. Peppermint. I wonder if the peppermint would help. And then I have sugar cookies. I'm not putting sugar cookies on my on my <laughs> shoulder. That's where I draw the line. Oh, Please. <laughs> These are for smelling nice in the house. Oh, like in one of those oil pans? Yeah. Uh, sugar cookies. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. All right, you guys. I wish I could stay up with you all night. Those are essential oils for diffusers. Ah, okay. I don't have a diffuser. 
Can you use one of those things that you put a little candle underneath that? Let me put you on, Traker. You know what else I have? I have one of those um, um, warming plates. Can I use the warming plate and just put like a little like dish on top of, I think it's right here. I actually put it, well, I didn't do it. My daughter did in a dibble lot. And all the devil lots are right here. I know I didn't do a devil lot tonight. Sorry, you guys. Let me see. It's amazing how I know where things are with so much stuff that I have. Oh, here's a whole bunch of nice homework Christmas ornaments that I didn't even know I had. Fabric. To the box of crafts. Replacement mop head. There's so much stuff here. It's all in bits. It's all nice and organized. Um, I don't know what happened to it. It was here, but it looks like she may have moved it. Chessie's in charge of the dibble boxes. But it's like this like warming plate. So I don't know. Um, okay. Butterfly said you could. I can? You do that, yeah, what you were saying. Okay. Warm it up. See if I can find it. Make the cottage small pretty. Um, okay, so we're back on teas tomorrow between 10 and 11. For those of you that are off and not working, um, and I'm going to stay on with her as much as I can. I'll be shipping in the background, and um, and then I have to wait for the phone call to see what time I have to go pick up that load of stuff tomorrow. Make sure the girls. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Anonymous. Make sure the girls are available. And I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll show more of everything that I have. I've got so many great things. I do. And I have a lot of great coats too, which I haven't. I just I had them all hanging here and I, I just I just put them all away. Because I got tired of looking at them. They were in my way. You guys were great tonight. I really wanna um say thank you so much. Good night, Heather. Good night. Good night. And um, I just want to say uh, sorry about canceling my live last night. I was just too tired to talk about some things that are like rattling around in my head. Um, it's nothing bad, you guys. I just want to talk about, you know, all of us, just all of us as a group. And um you know, it's, it's fine. It's, it's just all good. I just, I'm afraid that, um, some stuff that happened last week, um, some people got really upset and I think they've left the chat and I can't stand, um, when things like that happen. So, but anyways, I'll, I'll do a stream where I just want to talk about that. Just talk about it, you know? Um, Shriker, thank you for helping me. Mama G, if you're still here, thank you for dropping some links. Donna, do you sleep on your right side? I sleep on my right, and it's my right shoulder. Had this happened to me a few months ago from lifting too much. I'm sure I would need surgery, but started sleeping on my back to rest the shoulder, and it worked. I try, Christy. I always try since I hurt my shoulder like three weeks ago, I've been starting, I, I, I start sleeping on my left and then I always like just naturally just roll over to my right. Always, always, always. Susan Arrington, your stuff is all packed and ready to go. No mail delivery tomorrow. So Tuesday will be my big shipping day. Chachi, it's always good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. You guys are awesome. Shriker, you are Mr. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you all. Mwah.
tomorrow. Bye, you guys.